Alfred Nardo. Mr Speaker, over the last week the um, robust debate in the House has been about the health and safety reforms and there's been a lot of, I suppose, toing and froing around uh, what is the most uh, hazardous occupation. Well, Mr Speaker, it is official that uh, as of today uh, the most hazardous occupation isn't worm farmers, neither is it the, uh, the harvesters of lavender flowers. It's actually the leadership of the opposition, Mr Speaker, which is the Labour Party, Mr Speaker. And it's official because even in the Herald, the Labour supporters' digipoll survey clearly states that. The Prime Minister is up ahead at 63.7 per cent, but here's where the challenge lies. With Mr Little at 13.3 per cent, that's where the challenge lies. He's finally risen above single figures. He's in double digits now. He feels like he's a little bit safe. But what's happening, Mr Speaker, hot on his heels, OK, is Miss Jacinda Ardern at 3.9 per cent. And that's right, we know now for sure the evidence is Phil Twyford, he's the numbers man. He was the one that rolled the numbers on David Shearer. He knows it, he's not looking across here because he'll tell you that it is the truth. He's the numbers man who's working out there, Mr Speaker. We know that that's happening. There is trouble. They are worried, Mr Speaker. They know that this is going on. But Mr Speaker, we've had some inside knowledge. We've had some inside knowledge. We know that Mr Little is now trying to raise himself to a point of relevance. And what he's done, he's been working on a song. Actually, it's not a new song. It's a song from Joe Cocker. It's called A Little Help From My Friends. A Little Help From My Friends. And here's, he's using these words. He's, he's practicing himself. And it starts like this. Here's, here's how the verse goes. And it goes, what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand and walk out of me? Well, Mr. Speaker, we know that that's happened. You only need to look across at the three Ds. David Shearer, David Parker, and David Cunliffe, that budget speech was the worst speech in this House by a Labour leader. And we know the heads were down, they were ashamed, they wished that they could have stood up and walked out of the room. Second line says this, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. We interpret this as that Mr Little is trying to be like Mr Key. That's right, he wants to be popular, he wants to be aspirational, but he's angry Andrew. He can't do the aspirational, he does angry better than aspirational. But it gets better. So he goes to the chorus, Mr Speaker. Here's the chorus. But I get by with a little help from my friends. 6.5%. That's right. Two and a half members that have voted for him in the caucus. He's relying on them, Mr Speaker. His 2.5% that will support him. But it gets better. I get high with a little help from my friends. He's looking at the Greens at this stage, seeing if he can get some support. He looks across. Matiti is not giving him the eyes of, of interest. So that's gone. But then, but then here's the Ginsu knives. He says, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. He looks across at New Zealand first. Is his help coming on hills? Because Mr. Winston Peters keeps saying, but wait, help is on its way. He looked across during the by-election up in Northland. We were there. The Winnebago bus was going around the town. It was running, but Mr. Speaker, Let's, let's to the fact, the only reason they won is because Labour folded. That's right, poor Willow Jean Prime, she folded over, she allowed that 4,500 majority to go to New Zealand first, and here's the telling tale. At the end of the day, the day after the by-election, he looked across and he said to Winston, is there help from you? Mr Speaker, all he saw on the beaches of Ahipata was footprints in the sand. That's right, <laughs> footprints in the sand. There was no Winston there, that's right, Mr Speaker. There was no help. There was no help. Mr Speaker, it's a lost cause. He's looking across. Mr Speaker, it gets worse. When we heard the mood of the boardroom, 110 chief executives right around. And this is what they said. Yes, they still have confidence in the Minister of Finance. They still have confidence in Mr Key. But here's what they said. Unless Andrew Little and Grant Robinson gain some credibility in the business world, there will be no hope. They must gain some credibility. Mr Speaker, it's not happening. We know it's not happening because, Mr Speaker, there is confidence in this government. Mr Speaker, it's a sad day. Mr Little is looking for friends. It's not coming from New Zealand first. It's not coming from the Greens. And it's certainly not coming from two and a half members in his caucus. Mr Speaker, we know his days are over. Health and safety, we know that the Leader of Opposition, that position of the Labour should be high on the agenda. We need to protect the Labour leader. Thank you, Mr Speaker.